Saturday. Yeah, today yeah. and tomorrow are going to be the drier days, and maybe even Sunday. Saturday is the day with a big question mark mm -hmm. on it with scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk more about that. Uh, looking outside right now, we do have dry conditions over all of North Texas. A live look in Denton at uh, UNT. 80 degrees all across the board from Denton to Flower Mound, Louisville, and Argyle. And we're going to be looking at those temperatures topping out in the upper 80s to near 90 today with just a 10% chance of a shower. Most of us won't see anything like that, but it does warm up. This will be the warmest day in about a week. Tomorrow should start off quiet. Tomorrow morning, mid 70s. But then as we get into the afternoon, a few more showers and storms begin to pop up as tropical moisture comes surging our way. So a high of 90, but a 30% chance of rain. That will continue into Friday night. Then Saturday, we're going to go with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Still doesn't look like a washout Saturday, but there will be more storms around than we've expected, than we're expecting today or tomorrow. So you want to have the CBS DFW weather app ready to go if you have outdoor plans. And I know a lot of you do this time of year. Here's the latest on. On Florence, it is still a Category 2 storm now moving toward Wilmington and the southern coast of North Carolina. We have tornado watches in effect back to the north closer to Cape Hatteras. Maximum sustained winds at 105 miles an hour. Here is forecast landfall around 6 or 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, near Wilmington down toward Cape Fear. And then the storm takes a little jaunt to the west southwest through South Carolina. And then it's a very slow mover through the weekend. You can see here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's not until early next week it finally gets kicked out to the north. But because of the angle and the slow motion of the storm, storm surge between 9 to 13 feet across portions of North Carolina's coast, that will be devastating. You think about a 13 foot wall of water coming at you, and that's what we're talking about here. So severe flooding along the coast. And then you add to that, of course, the winds. You see the wind speeds here as we make our way into tomorrow morning near landfall. 90 mile an hour winds in Wilmington, 77 mile an hour winds in Moorhead City. And those strong winds will be moving into South Carolina by late tomorrow. And then over the weekend, as this storm becomes a tropical storm and then a tropical depression, there's still going to be tropical storm force winds throughout most of the weekend across the Carolinas. Carolinas. And look at some of these rainfall amounts. We have wind, storm surge, and then the rainfall. Well over 10 inches across parts of North Carolina. And look at Jacksonville, North Carolina, one of our models forecasting almost 42 inches of rain. The state record in North Carolina is 24 inches with Floyd back in 1999. Our rain chances are small today, but they go up Saturday to 50%. Highs will be in the upper 80s to near 90 the next few days, and we dry out altogether next week with highs back in the mid 90s.